been disturbed by a man like Nadeel to come and entertain you guys as you're not entertained enough on YouTube. Drum roll please! I should be working for somebody else. Everybody's at lunch and I'm working. I can't eat in peace, I can't work in peace, I can't think in peace. Early bird catches the early word. The hell here, we've got a Pharisee's car in. We import primarily dates from Palestine, so they're all Palestinian with dual dates. Yeah, the Chinese ones. Sorry? It's called the Chinese ones. What? The scissors. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. More important matters, it's half past one. It's lunchtime. Techers, I'm just gonna log in. I came in this morning and uh, I was uh, bombarded with customers downstairs. So, uh, one of my old friends who I hadn't seen in many, many moons, he was in the shop. I think last week he must have come in when I was in uh, up north. Another YouTube sale. He says, oh, I didn't even know you guys did this sort of stuff. Alhamdulillah, it's good stuff, man. YouTube's working. That's one sale that we would not have got if it weren't for YouTube. And that is the aim of the game with YouTube, you see. Not for banter. Although we like to put a bit of banter in there just to keep you entertained. The, the whole reason for starting YouTube was to actually boost the business. So, this week, what have we got planned for this week? We need to get the cameras and lights sorted at the Cradley Heat storage yard. So that's a job for this week. So a bit later on in the week, we'll go down there and see what's happening. We'll have a little walk around the yard and discuss a few things. You're like filming me or something. I'm eating. Your mind. I can't eat in peace. I can't work in peace. I can't think in peace. Reduced fat. The ready sold increase from Marks and Spencer's. Notice the reduced fat. Uh, right, it's Monday morning. We've got four pallets going to Spain today. Uh, they've all been locked and loaded. The courier has come now to collect them. So they're going to be loaded now onto the transporter and they will be shipped out as soon as the actual customer sorted out their own transport which is there's no need for any commodity codes and uh, all the rest of it so uh, uncle ajaz is currently there on the forklift so um, let's go see how he's getting along i should be working for somebody else everybody's at lunch and i'm working ah! Pump it up, pump it up. One more to do. I'm 56. How are ya? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. So I'm just busy with quilting machine again. So this is Spain order. So I see there was one I made, but it was less. So I was thinking, you know, I'm, I'm gonna leave that one for KBT. So I'm gonna start fresh new one for them. So I'm gonna finish this one. I hope so. We send it by um, Friday or Thursday. We is gonna go. So I talked to Saj as well. He told me like he said like there's more sub colors for the KBT. So I'm gonna do that as well. Yeah, the weekend was good. So I stay in weekends because I moved to the new place. So a little bit I fix it there and then I go out to restaurants. So I was thinking I'm gonna go with friends, but I said, you know, it's a waste of time to you go with friends. So I need to, whatever is in my front, so I need to finish that. And then I need to be back to work on Monday. So it was good because um, I had loads of things to do. So I was talking to my family and weekend as well, they're back home. So every week when I have a day off, I call them as well. And they're watching me from there as well, bro. 
So every time they tell me, oh, you look like this, your beard was nice, blah, blah. <laughs> because my laws are really deep watching it and they're loving it. So I hope everyone give a like, subscribe. So, you know, my body is gonna finish, bro. So give me subscribes and like and share. So I would make be back and henches, bro. <laughs> so I've just got a parcel going to the USA. Just gotta get a quote, let the customer know. Then we'll give them the option, either they collect it from us and pay the shipping or they pay the shipping to us and we'll send it. We do prefer if the customer arranges a collection, especially for international, because uh, there is a lot of things that you need to do, especially these days, uh, post Brexit and pandemic and all the rest of it. So we've had a price just shy of two and a half grand. So I will tell the customer, I very much doubt it, because the fabric only comes to around about that same amount, but it does need to go on a pallet, you see. It can't just be, if it was just a roll itself, it would be about 70, 80 quid, because it's been put on a pallet, costs a lot more money but let's come over here come with me so we have received these chairs back for a local restaurant there's 35 chairs here which have been reupholstered by the man himself Stan the man um, they've come out very good I don't know if you remember on I think it was episode 33 I showed you one of the chairs where he had a, a complete tear in the middle and they had put gaffer tape all over it so as you can see customers gone for a chocolate vinyl so the backrest and the seat rest has been changed and we've also given the legs a coat of paint and also the backrest arms have had a coat of paint so yeah uplifted a bit of furniture it's cost the customer half the amount what it would have cost them to go out and buy some new chairs so it's a job well done we should hopefully get these collected by tomorrow yeah yeah very productive day it was busy yeah and when it's busy it's fun yeah Drum roll, please. Uh, it's been a long, productive day. As always, Mondays are always non-stop, non-stop. Ain't they, Shmuel? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Been, you had a busy day today? Yeah, very busy, yeah. A lot of orders. I can't help it, I have to tell you. <laughs> glasses make you look like Harry Potter. Uh, really? Yeah. yeah. I will take that as a compliment, Shh. yeah? <laughs> Thank you. That was a... That was the, the wizard, what do you call it? That was a wand, no, I wasn't whipping him to make him work faster. <laughs> I wouldn't do that stuff for a lot. No, but at, uh, yes, as I was saying, Mondays are always hectic, but you're well versed with Mondays. I didn't manage to go over to the storage yard today because I just didn't have the physical time, but uh, we're gonna make that a job for tomorrow. Uh, and I do need to get that started. I'm gonna visit Sheffield again sometime later in the week. I'm gonna meet up with the electrician and discuss the plans there. I will see you tomorrow. Peace out. Tuesday and you join me at my desk and today I am in the midst of ordering some fabric uh, we have a lot of out of stock orders here which I'm just going through I've managed to make my way through a few of them but uh, I've been disturbed by a man like Nadil to come and entertain you guys as you're not entertained enough on YouTube the way what's happening today what's happening today is that uh, I will be going over to Cradley Heath I've got to meet up with a man like Clive I'm going to discuss a few things with him um, about some cameras. I'm actually going to be going over again tomorrow. Uh, I've got another company uh, coming over to give me a price as well. So we're making some headway with the storage yard, uh, which is uh, which is always a good thing. I'm trying to get that sorted. Um, what's happening here at KBT? Other than the fact that I'm doing some ordering, um, just sent the orders down to the boys. It's just another day. The issue that we have is this repetitiveness. But, uh, I mean, to be honest with you, even if you work for somebody, uh, there's nothing that changes. Like, what changes in your life, Nadil, from day to day, mm -hmm. bar the very minimum stuff? You know, the fire alarm might go off and we might have to run outside. But other than that, there's nothing happening. It's the same thing day in, day out. 
we're going to get to 52 weeks and then we're going to decide what we're going to do but for now we're going to continue on with the weeklies you're just probably going to be filming me sleeping on that sofa if i'm honest with you anyway and i'll catch you guys on the gopro in a little while when i head over to cradley heath tuesday at abt today i'm going to do a quick delivery not far for you green five rolls of 150 gram wadding so yeah just loading that into the van to the sprinter and we'll go drop it off customer good morning how are you i'm good bro how are you i have been cutting from the morning and now there were some rolls which has to go out so we put them in the van and i think it will be break time in a while yeah so we'll be having some tea oh sometimes i mix you know like coffee black tea green tea whatever bro it it must be hot that's it we had a delivery of uh, our Dylon products, which is the hand dyes, machine dyes. So I just thought I'd uh, fill up the shelf a bit. More important matters, it's half past one. It's lunchtime, baby. Uh, right, so I'm just heading over to one of my customers. Uh, he's uh, asked me to come over and have a look at some work that he needs doing, some embroidery work. So, just jumped in the car, I'm just gonna head over. He's not too far away from us. So, I've got the samples with me as well, which are just there. Um, it's four different types of blackout fabric. Sorry, apologies, it's one different type of blackout fabric. It's four different types of black fabric, uh, which he has requested. So, I'm gonna take them over to him, show them to him, discuss some embroidery work that he needs doing, and hopefully we can get this work done. It is a matter of urgency. He has got a big event this weekend, he did tell me. So we're going to try and do it as fast as possible for him. Um, but yeah, let's head over and uh, I'll catch up with you guys when I'm there. Well, Holy Land Dates Limited. We import primarily dates from Palestine. So they're all Palestinian medjool dates. We've started off in 2017 importing the dates. Um, and now, in addition to the dates, we bring in oils, za'atar, soaps. And again, the whole objective is support Palestine, support them through trade. We also then give back 50% of our net profits back to Palestine. So that's the key objective behind this, is just keep supporting Palestine. Very good. So we've got a whole variety of dates from the classic collection to the premium collection. You've got jumbo dates there to the right. You've got large dates, medium dates, a whole, whole variety of dates. Then in addition to the dates, we've now started to do the gift boxes, t-shirts, hoodies, which I'll show you in a moment. We can walk over there if you want. Yeah, sure. So, uh, uh, by Nazem, where can yeah. they, uh, where can the viewers find you? So, uh, we've got Instagram yeah. and holylanddates.co.uk. Um, you can find all the information that you need. You can buy the products on there. Um, and, you know, there's a whole range of products. And particularly now, I think one of the key things that's appealing to a lot of the, the youngsters is the clothing. So, there's hoodies, T-shirts, tracksuit bottoms. Yeah. They're made in Pakistan, but they're all with Palestinian designs. And again, See. I think... They're probably one of the best qualities you'll buy. Come on, let's price. go have a look at them. Yeah, inshallah. I inshallah. might take one for myself. Yeah, yeah please do. So, so this is the Ramadan gift box, which is, um, it's not completed yet, but inside you'll have a box of dates, oil, and a thusby. All the products are from Palestine. And again, the whole idea is a nice little gift to give to people. It's a reminder of Palestine. And again, 50% of the net profits from these will also go back to support in Palestine. These are the deluxe gift boxes, deluxe premium. You get a string oh, of wow. products in there. So you get Palestinian Medjool, Palestinian Black Seed Oil, Palestinian Extra Virgin Olive Oil, Palestinian Zatar, Palestinian Soap, and then Hibawi Kafia. There's an interesting story behind here because sadly, Hibawi who make these kafias are the last remaining factory making kafias in Palestine. A lot of people buy from other countries, but in Palestine, this is the last factory. So Alhamdulillah, we've just teamed up with them that we will now become their UK supplier. Yeah, Our objective is to try and keep supporting them. So guys, you've heard it from the main man himself. Um, just walking through his warehouse here and they're doing an absolute brilliant job in uh, supporting the Palestinians uh, through way of trade um, and not just you know charity, keeping businesses going there as well, helping them in that way as well. Uh, make sure you guys check out Holy Land Dates and by, by Nazem is doing an absolute brilliant job here. And yeah, get supporting. Uh, right guys, so I'm just wearing one of the Palestinian hoodies. Um, it's got Palis Palestine written in, uh, in Arabic down the arms. It's a lovely fit, mashallah. Um, bit tight, but gives me an excuse as I just snug said fit. to buy Nazem. Yeah, snug fit, yeah. but uh, yeah, gives me an excuse to uh, lose some pounds, especially for Ramzan. Um, but yeah. Uh, they do these, um, they do black, white, and uh, I've seen a different design here as well. Yeah, so we do the zip one and then we do the over the head. And then you do hoodies. Yeah. 
uh, with Palestine. So uh, yeah, make sure you guys come and check them out. T-shirts as well. Tracks Are you bottom. wholesaling these or? Yeah, we wholesale them and retail them. They're on the website, holylanddates.co.uk. Brilliant um, stuff. And I think you'll find they're probably the cheapest out there. Um, and they're not cheap because they're poor quality. You check it, these are 300 GSM. Right, okay. So they're good quality, very good quality tops. Well, I should be telling you that because I'm the fabric man. <laughs> you tell me, hey? yeah. You're the fabric man. But uh, no, uh, Jazakala, thank you. So is this mine to keep now, Bainazel? She wants to keep. Jazakala, thank you. 100 quid, please. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> if it's for Palestine, we yeah, can double I'm it. No problem at all, I'm inshallah. Sure. Uh, sure. We well, try and do our bit, you know. Alhamdulillah. But uh, yes, guys. Um, so I've got mine. Make sure you go and get yours, inshallah. Any last words? No, importantly, just as I keep saying, just keep promoting Palestine. Um, however cool. it's done, mashallah, remember the Palestinians in your doors every time. Whatever you can do, every little bit. It sounds a bit cliquey a bit cliche but every little bit does make a huge difference as Definitely. long as it's done in the right way inshallah Definitely. So I'll accept it from us all I mean so guys as well as the clothing as well as the dates mashallah they also have these beautiful beautiful pictures uh, this one being of uh, the Dome of the Rock yes. um, and then we have again Dome of the Rock and at the top you've got the gates to Masjid Al-Aqsa the entrance and, that is and these the... are done by Al Bakr uh, my nephew he's traveled to Palestine with us mashallah many times He's an avid photographer. He's, at, he's, I think, third or fourth year architect student. Mashallah, he's done a very, very Super good job. job. Huh? Right, guys. So, as I mentioned previously before uh, coming over to buy Nazim's factory, um, we are uh, here to do some embroidery work for these guys. Uh, but honestly, big thank you for showing me around. Uh, it's been a pleasure seeing what you guys do here. So, I'm going to go away uh, and try and get this done for Friday, inshallah. Um, bit last minute, but uh, <laughs> better anything, late than never. But look, anything we can do Humbly, to sure. help you guys, you guys are doing a brilliant exactly. job here, Appreciate so it. it's the least we can do for you. Um, but yeah, that's more or less um, that's more or less the task in hand. Uh, I'm gonna leave now uh, as uh, I have to shoot to London, but uh, I will get this sorted first thing in the morning, um, get it approved, and we'll get your approval, and then we'll go for a stitch. Sounds good. Exactly yeah. like that. Thank you. Very right, much. guys. So that's everything um, from Holy Land dates. Uh, as I say, I will leave a link in the description for all their details for the clothing, the dates, the, the oils, um, and anything else that I've missed out. But uh, yeah, do please do go and check them out. They're doing an absolute uh, brilliant job here, um, and they're helping our brothers and sisters out in Palestine as well. So what more can you ask for? Right, I was just making my way out. The mastermind behind these pictures has just turned up. Man like Abu Bakr, mashallah, uh, I just stopped to put this on camera because the world needs to know of your talent. You know what, that is an amazing photo. Right, guys, I'm going to leave that there. Uh, this is Abu Bakr, the man behind the pictures, uh, and he's going to get me a, a picture made for my desk, inshallah. So uh, do go and check their website out, as I've said about 100 times already. Uh, and I will, that's it. I will leave a link to all the details sure. in the description below. Welcome to KBT Weekly. I mean, Pinnacle Detailing Weekly. Sahil here. We've got a fire seat car in. Um, we've just found his GoPro in the car, so we thought we'll give you a little behind the scenes of what goes on here with the fire seat car. Got the T Rock in. We are, we washed the outside. It's all done. Got Jakub over here just drying it. And then we've got the interior to do, um, which we've given it an interior detail last time so it just needs uh, freshening up. The tea rocks all done. Looking absolutely mint. So I'm just on the way to drop the tea rock back off to Paris. Yeah, so this is Pinnacle Detailing signing out and back to KBT Weekly. Welcome to another day at KBT. We are on Wednesday midweek, 
hump day, hump week. Um, <clears throat> what can I tell you? We've had no deliveries going out today or anything. Um, I think the only delivery I did was uh, to Greg's for a cup of tea and a latte. In terms of the orders, slow and steady again this week. I think us guys around here for the last couple of weeks, we're starting to slow down coming up towards Wednesday, Thursday. But I think the department that is really busy at the moment is the quilting section and the actual stitching sec section. I think them guys are under some, some pressure. We've got some big jobs coming out. Um, so yeah, in terms of orders downstairs, we've not got a lot of orders. We've done all the products today, all the small ones. There's about five, six rolls that went out today. Uh, there's about one on the table. But, um, but yeah, slow and steady, mate. Let's keep it moving. The weather is uh, hot today, you know. I don't feel any cold and I think summer is coming, yeah? It's here. But I hope it doesn't come so soon because I, I really enjoy winter, you know? I don't like summers. No, no, not hotter, hot than Pakistan. Pakistan is too hot, you know? Like the people back home, they already started fans and some of them uh, started using AC. So, uh, this is good, yeah, but not uh, good like winter, you know, I like winter. So, today is Wednesday and uh, the sun is shining is very good, so I hope everybody enjoy. So, the weather is changing, so I used to put heaters on, now heater is off, so I enjoy as well. And I think it's like here more heavy weight to pick up. So it's gonna be me more losing weight is better for me. So I hope everybody enjoy this summer and keep up everybody. So today my plan is I have one order. So uncle say he need it for Friday. So I have to start it now and finish it by Friday because obviously if I make it late than Friday, then it's gonna be late for the customer. So I'm trying my best to finish that order. And if I finish that one, so obviously I'm gonna tell uncle say now surprise me with something to make some shoulder bro. Rapid rapid bro. <laughs> Six. Well, first thing I'd like to say is very good morning to you and welcome back to another day. It's Wednesday and you join me not at my desk. You join me at uh, whose desk is this? I think this is a visitor's desk. This is this is a spare bedroom. Basically, anybody, any guests that we have, we put them here. But uh, my father and my uncle, Saj, are in a meeting with uh, a couple of people. So uh, he's taken over my desk. Uh, I've taken this opportunity to work out some prices for the new scissors we've had delivered yesterday. You know, yesterday we had a delivery of uh, various new scissors. I'm just going through the invoice, working out what it's cost us. Uh, and then putting a retail price on it uh, and then hopefully Manlat Nadil is going to picture them and we're going to put them online. Some of them are already online. You are right there, son? What are you cheering about? I just looked over at Hassan and Hassan's cheering behind me. I thought he's cheering for me. I thought, yes, KBT Weekly. <laughs> yeah. I've got a gentleman who goes by the name of Iklas uh, coming to see me. He deals in PDQ terminals, so we're going to have a meeting with him and discuss some potential savings on the credit card machine. Yes, it does cost money to have that machine. So when you go to your local corner shop and boss man says it's minimum five pounds to use a credit card machine, just understand why, because it costs him money to process the card. Right, Nadil, I am going to continue with this. Um, and I'll see you after lunch. I'm alright, man. Hi. I'm alright, man. How's your day been? Uh, it's not too bad. It's quieting down a little bit. So I get a little bit of time to chat my, to my pal over there, <laughs> Nafis, who does all the shout outs. Oh, yeah. And then forgets his uh, uh, nephews and nieces' names. No, no. no. I'm grilling for that. <laughs> right. So, quick product review. We've got a new item uh, in store, and it's a Rastafari. Rasta what? 
Right, so guys, we had a new product come in today, uh, something that we've had specially made for Fabric UK, and it's only available at Fabric UK, and it is a Rastafarian design on a webbing. Now, this is suitable for backpack straps, belts, and laptop bags. Okay, so if you are interested in this, we can send you a free sample of it. It's available both by the meter and by the roll. Buying the roll obviously will do you a much better price, but uh, yeah, if you are interested, do get in touch with us. So it's the end of the day, it's the end of Wednesday, we're over the hump day and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the uh, pre-quend. Pre-quend is pre-weekend, if you didn't know. I'm not going to claim that I made that word up because I heard it from somewhere else. Right, see you tomorrow. Very good morning to you. How's it going? Just managed to print some pricing out. So I'm just going to put them up um, so the boys know how much to charge the customers. So these are in-store prices. We run the same prices on our website plus postage and packaging. So it goes up by about two or three quid. One of these don't really weigh much, so it costs about three quid to uh, pack and send that out. First class raw mail. So, uh, so yeah, that's where really. we're just doing that. And uh, three, seven, well, I should just do it this way, shouldn't I? Instead of faffing about. Oh, 890 are these here. Yeah, the Chinese ones. Sorry? It's called the Chinese ones. What? The scissors. What? I'm just going to pop out. I'm going to go and drop off the black poly cotton sheeting to get uh, embroidered for the event at the Excel Center. Early bird catches the early worm. And right now, <laughs> it's time to go home. <laughs> what do you think? Where's the... Where's the towel? There is no. I'll use your jacket. No, no, no. There's some there. Look, there's some tissue there. There's some tissue there, but the thing. <laughs> <laughs> you really think I was going to... Yeah. Actually, was. actually yeah. if I wipe my hands on your jacket, my hands will be dirty again. <laughs> hey. Yeah, look. That's for tissues. Then you got a whole load. See that? That's what we like to see. Here they are moving. Yes, but tissues, and you got a whole truck load. Don't know what doing. I said, Where's the tissues? Because they're over there somewhere. I'm turning around. You're walking with a lot of tissues. Right, we're going to load up the van. It's going to London first thing in the morning. Um, man like Nafis hasn't turned up. Well, Nafis had turned up, but he left a bit early today. So, uh, the job has fallen in my hands to complete but uh, before we turn up to work in the morning this van will be already in London so he says but we'll see what happens Whoa, 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Going off into the lounge, baby. Rapid, rapid. rapid is rapid, bro.
Right guys, we managed to get the two pallets in. So uh, the van will be heading to London first thing in the morning uh, while we're all hugging our pillow. We'll be out grafting. KBT Weekly, welcome back to another day. It's the last day of the week, it's Juma. And first thing in the morning, we've got man like Suk here. This is our embroidery team. Ferris, how you doing? How are we? You okay? Yeah, thank you. Wanna say hello to KBT? KBT Weekly, how you doing? You okay? Right, so we're just gonna quickly check this, do a quick, um, what do you call it? Quality control before we uh, hand it over to the customer. So Suk, if you grab one end, we'll open it up on this table. Let's see how it's coming out. That's good, isn't it? You've done a good job there. We try to. Hmm? We try to. Hmm? You know, I just think we're good at something, apart from messing up. So this is the artwork that we were given by Nazim, who we met earlier so in the week. Boy, the gentleman who sells the dates from Palestine, as well as the oils and the tops, and the jacket that was given to me. Um, so I'm just going to go around and drop this off to him. They have got an event this weekend. They're leaving for London in the next 10-15 uh, minutes. So we are pushed for time. Um, but yeah, thank you for that, Sook. Thank you. And guys, if you do want any embroidery work doing, do let us know. Uh, we, no job is too small, no job is too big. Uh, we'll get that done for you. Any plans today? Or? The plans are that uh, we go to the mosque today. It's Friday. It's a religious day for us, as you know. And uh, drinking my black coffee. On all of you out there, you think I've lost any weight? So if you can come back and tell me. Right, guys, we're back at the Holy Land Dates warehouse. Uh, Pai Nazim is running around as he is leaving for London very shortly. Uh, we've just dropped it off. I'm just going to open this trestle table up and put that out and see how it looks. So if you just give me a second. So hopefully, inshallah, our maths has served us right. And this comes out as it should. Put this in the middle, like so. Just like that. Yeah, it definitely needs snipping. There's nothing actually wrong with it, it's just a bit big, it's just a bit long, so it just needs cutting down around the edges. But I was more concerned about the uh, stitch work, but it's come bang on. Because um, that's exactly how I wanted it. That's exactly how I wanted it to be. We've got three logos, so one at the front, one in the middle, and then one here. So obviously this will be in the center like this. And I presume these dates will go on the table like so, something like that. Can I introduce you into some dates? So guys, um, what we have here is some premium dates from the Holy Land of Palestine. Now, these are not your ordinary dates. These are mouth in your mouth dates. These are jumbo dates. Just one bite will have you back for more. So that's a job well done. We've just checked it. It's come out perfect. Just a bit long on the sides. I did tell uh, by Nazim that uh, it does need snipping down. So once it's set up there, they can just trim the edges down. We weren't really working with uh, measurements as such, so it was really a guesstimate on a table. So we literally just had the measurement of it's a six foot trestle table. So we had to work out what that was and then um, work around it. But Alhamdulillah, it's come out perfectly fine. Um, in my eyes anyway, I don't know why Nazar might think differently, but uh, personally, I think it's come out bang on. So, perfect. Right, I'm actually headed to Leicester now, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thanks for watching this week's weekly. I've gotta go and run to see the printers, uh, but we'll be back same time, same place next week. Thanks for watching as always.